In this video, we're going to be going over how to assemble the anesthetic syringe. First, let's go over the equipment and supplies. So this over here is the aspirating syringe. This is the carpio or the anesthetic cartridge, the needle, and the needle sheath protector. So let's go over the components of the aspirating syringe. So here in the middle where you see that little arrow there, like other syringes may have like a little hook, um, but this is very sharp, it's called the harpoon, and this is what's going to get the, um, the carpeel in there to engage it. And I'll show you later on how that's done. And over here, this is the piston. This thing that goes up and down with the harpoon is the piston. Okay. This over here is the finger grip. The right. uh, fingers are going to be placed here. And over here, this is the thumb ring. This is a ring where the thumb goes in. The doctor is going to put the thumb through here. And he's going to rest the fingers here. So this is the finger grip, the thumb ring, the harpoon with the piston. This here in the center is the barrel where the anesthetic goes here, rests there. Over here on this is the threaded hub and it's where the needle will adapt we're going to screw in the needle here where the threaded hub is. So these are the parts of the aspirating syringe. Now let's go with the carpio or the anesthetic cartridge. So here you're going to see this rubber um, silicone area. So this is the plunger indented. So here is where the harpoon is going to go in and engage the carpeel. Here in this rubber area there, silicone rubber plunger. This area over here this is gold, but this color um, tells you what type of anesthetic is this um, carpeel. So this one in specific is septicane. You can have different colors. It could be red, it could be other colors. And depending on the colors, it's for you to identify what type of anesthetic is in here. That's that color there. Then over here is where the diaphragm is. And you see that little space there is where the needle is going to go. So this is the area towards the harpoon. And this is the area where the needle goes. Needle goes here, the harpoon goes this way. So this is the carpeel. Now this is the needle and they come in different sizes. This one is a long needle. There's short needle, pediatric needles, and the gauge might differ. So it will all depend on um, what the doctor um, wants or the area that the doctor is going to anesthetize. Okay, and this is the protected sheath for the needle so we can do a single handed recapping to avoid um, pricking 
ourselves, okay? So now how do we assemble this? So the first thing that we got to do, we're going to hold the anesthetic with our left hand and using our thumb, we're going to move the piston back. So this, you're going to see that it's going to move down. So you see this here? So we want to move it back to give space for the carpial to go in here. So first thing, with our thumb, we're going to move that piston back and we're going to place the carpial with the rubber facing to the, har to the harpoon and the diaphragm where the needle goes. And there, and then we're going to release. Once we release the harpoon, we need to engage it into this rubber area. So the way to do that is we're going to hold it and we're going to try to engage it. Okay? Once and then we check to see if it's in there slightly. We don't want to take it out. So slightly we check that it's there. So it is engaged. This is a very important step because the doctor, um, when it's going to anesthetize, is going to aspirate to check if he introduced the anesthetic. Before he introduces the anesthetic, he has to check that he is not inside a blood vessel. So that's why it is very important that that's engaged so he can move that back and aspirate. So that's that. And now we're going to introduce the needle. So for the needle, we are going to remove the protective, the protective needle um, cap. So to do that, we're just going to twist to break the seal. So we're just going to twist and the seal breaks. And this protective cap where the needle is. Now we are going to engage it through the diaphragm. Very important for you not to bend this um, part over here. If when you introduce it, you bend, you bend it, then the anesthetic is not gonna flow properly. Then the doctor, when is trying to inject, is not going to be um, effective. So it is very important that for this um, part, you're going to use a fulcrum. You need a finger rest to create stability. It is very important that it goes in straight. And is because you don't want this to come down here by accident and you prick yourself. Because if you do, this is a clean um, needle. However, you are not going to be able to use this one for the patient because then this needle will be infected. So you would need to throw this out in the sharps and get a new one. So very important for you to get a fulcrum to avoid bending it or you pricking yourself. Fulcrum, steady hand, you're gonna go where that diaphragm is, push it down, and once it's down, you're just going to twist until it's there. Not, don't over um, tighten the needle. The last thing we have to do is place the sheet protector. And that's how you assemble the dental anesthetic syringe. Okay.